wake up in the morning and the sky is blue, it's cool outside, 95,000 people flocking to the stadium, the leaves are beautiful on the trees and you think this is a football Saturday in Tennessee. It's football time in Tennessee. All right. Go, Go Wild! All right. <laughs> Go Big Orange! <laughs> Neyland Stadium, the second largest campus stadium in college football, and battleground for the tradition and excitement that is Big Orange football. I remember the first time that I ran through the tee in 1973 on a Saturday night football game against Duke. What a great thrill for me it was. And I remember the last time that I ran through the tee against the University of Kentucky on a Saturday afternoon in 1976. And the thrill was as great then as it was when I did it the first time in 1973. Tradition. Achievement, success, part of the proud heritage that is Tennessee football. Wearing the big orange has meant winning a national championship, appearances in all four major bowls, and the 10th best all-time winning record in the 114-year history of college football. Consecutive victories over Southeastern Conference rival Alabama. A dominant winning record against LSU, Kentucky, Vanderbilt, and Florida. Regular appearances in Holiday Bowls. All dramatic evidence that the Big T is re-establishing its prominence throughout the South. Television appearances, the opportunity for postseason honors, the sharpening of skills for a pro career, all waiting for a young athlete who proudly wears the orange and white, whose motivation to excel comes from a man born and bred in the winning traditions of Tennessee football. I saw improvement in our fam Saturday. I think you did too. An all-American player at Tennessee, Twice National College Coach of the Year, Johnny Majors teaches pride and enthusiasm. And what I'm interested to see this, this week defensively, to see how well we maintain our attitude and desire to get that football. His teams are disciplined in fundamentals, sound in execution. Each athlete learning and growing under one of college football's most respected and successful teachers. The most enjoyable aspect of coaching period is the actual work on the field with the young men who put the uniforms on, being teachers of young men. You're going to go for a point two yards upfield, and you're going to attack the end, or whoever's a contained man. Don't run too deep. If you do, they're going to smell a mouse, and they're going to get deep to contain. We want to make it think it's a runoff tackle, okay? and keep them off your feet. You have to learn to recognize that and read with him. And go ahead now, step, step, get real low, get real low. Get, get that low, okay? I gotta use my hand, see, and then it's Chuck, you see? This time, Chuck, you go a little quicker. I'm too quick for you. And we're in bad shape, I'm quicker you are in real bad shape, right? Coach Majors was the reason I came to Tennessee. He, uh, he's a winner, and, uh, and that's what it all boils down to. He's a hard worker, and he's a dedicated man, and he believes you gain things through hard work. Hey! You gonna when you run the ball? Are you gonna are you gonna huck and buck when you get it? No, sir. No, you gonna run. While they're on the practice field, the number one objective is to practice up to their potential. And when they're playing for 60 minutes, is to play up to their potential for 60 minutes. However, off the practice field, the number one thing they're here for is to get a degree and an education in that degree. Athletic achievement, yes, but more important, a total education. Willie Gall. A marketing major found a perfect environment to grow and mature. One of the many world-class track athletes at Tennessee, 
an All-American football player, and an NFL first-round draft choice. Willie Gull built the foundation for his future at Tennessee. If you look back and say, well, college is, is really fun. It's a nice time to have and grow and learn to, to go ahead and, and lear learn how to live your life and learn how to be a successful businessman or a successful citizen. I think um, by me going to school here and, and getting all these leaderships and guidance, it's, it's really helped me tremendously and I can't really express the feeling I have or how much it's helped me. Helping young people is a way of life at Tennessee. The setting is modern and challenging with a touch of southern charm. Professional and graduate education is available in some 300 fields of study. Business, law, medicine, engineering. The student is given a wide range of careers to follow. The goal is to successfully combine studies with athletics and academic All-American Tim Irwin, currently in the NFL, is proof the system works. Tennessee is, is an institution that cares about the education of their athletes. They don't uh, ever put football first. They uh, make sure the athlete gets to class. Our academics advisor makes sure you're on a program to graduate and not just taking a bunch of courses to stay eligible. And the university itself uh, is unsurpassed, in my opinion, in the southeast as far as academic excellence. I think we as coaches and administrators have a responsibility, more than an obligation, a responsibility that we try to help these young men grow into men of responsibility so they know how to act in groups or as individuals, working with the press and the news media in different aspects, how to handle themselves on trips as a group or individually, how to speak up and talk with confidence, how to dress, how to speak, how to be affirmative, how to be positive, how to be uh, confident. I think that's part of a coach's job, just as it is to teach them how to block and tackle. Bill Bates took his Tennessee training right into a Dallas Cowboys uniform. And it wasn't just football he learned in Knoxville. I saw Bill uh, start out as a hesitant individual that uh, through the years progressed uh, through leadership roles and opportunities to participate with community activities uh, become a more confident person and he had a lot of opportunities to go to other places like Notre Dame and uh, UCLA and uh, Mississippi and Alabama and other places and he chose UT and uh, he's been very happy with it and, and consequently uh, I've been very happy with it. Yes, football spirit at Tennessee soars as high as the Great Smokies. It is the fascination and focal point of an entire state. It is the legacy of Hickman and Cathago, Neelan and Laura Sutter. It is 93,000 people sharing a common bond and wearing their pride for all to see. Football here is such a great tradition, and everybody sticks together. Everybody gets out and goes to the games. Everybody's dressed in orange and white. Over the years, the passions of those dressed in orange and white have been stirred by some old-fashioned football traditions. Defense, get tough. We gotta get good field position. All right. Yeah, the only thing you believe in. The only thing you believe in. Defense, Tennessee style. The ability to analyze the reaction to follow the flow, and the desire to implant an orange tea on somebody's chest. We've grown closer together more than any time that I've been here, and we're, we're playing better together. The Minister of Defense, number 92, All-American Reggie White, leads the modern version of the Orange Crush. A big play defense, willing to gamble, ready to dominate.
Ever since the legendary General Bob Neelan coached to Tennessee in the 30s and 40s, no football program in America has put more emphasis on the kicking game than the Vols. If many victories are decided by a foot, the Big Orange want theirs to be sturdy and accurate. Kicking and defense are the foundation, but to compete week after week in the rugged Southeastern Conference, the Vols demand a power offense that hits at the heart of the enemy. Under Johnny Majors, the Orange has thrived on the quick strike, sending skilled wide receivers like Anthony Hancock, Mike Miller, Stanley Morgan, Darrell Wilson, and Willie Galt into pro football, and surprising defenses with a playbook of game breakers. Alan Cockrell brings his team to the line of skipping. Behind center, Glenn Streno. Cockrell back to throw. Pass downfield complete. Taylor breaks a tackle. 40, 10, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Tennessee! There is a special camaraderie at Tennessee whether in the spacious dining hall where the finest in food is served, or in the weight room where players like Randall Morris of Long Beach, California receive excellent instruction. Nice and easy. Okay, right up there. I'm a long way from home, which I'm from California. All the other schools on the West Coast also had a good program, but uh, I like Tennessee's program better. That's the way. Everybody I've met, you know, they wanted to help me any way they could. Good, I'm much better set. A lot more, a lot more explosion, more into it. it was nice. From weights like. to rackets, there's always something happening on campus, while the surrounding area is an outdoorsman's delight. Being only 40 minutes from the heart of the Smoky Mountains, our colors are magnificent in the fall. In the spring, the, the flowers and the dogwood trees, that's just a beautiful, beautiful area to, to live in and to live in for four years to go to school here. The recreational opportunities, the lakes and the rivers and the mountains, uh, the opportunities for, for a sporting person as far as hunting and fishing, if a young man likes that, but mountain climbing, rafting, uh, just tremendous amount of recreational opportunities around here. Perhaps the most thrilling activity comes on Saturday when 95,000 fans jam the largest football stadium in the South to become part of a UT spectacular. And they fill every seat in Neyland Stadium for one reason, to see their team turn on the juice. The orange juice. Every game that was played, it was at least 86 to 95,000 people there, and that really impressed me. I'm from Atlanta, and I've never been to a game that's so excited and so live. Everyone gets so excited, and sitting in that stadium with 93,000 people each week is just great. It's wow. <laughs> Every touchdown sparks another explosion of pride in this cauldron of college football. Another chapter in a legacy of Big Orange athletics, second to none. Wearing the orange shirt of Tennessee carries with it a lot of responsibility to uphold our great tradition. 
Ever since I've been in the fifth grade, I've wanted to wear that orange jersey. I'm now a dentist here in Knoxville. I've returned here since dental school and wouldn't live anywhere else in the world. Big Orange Country means a great deal to me. Yes, Big Orange Country is special. To those who have worn the cherished orange jersey and gone on to successful careers in business or professional football. To the hundreds of thousands who wave their colors and live and die with volunteer football. It is special to a coach who believes in winning but understands an even greater responsibility to his young men. And to those men who wear the orange jersey with determination and enthusiasm and pride. Young men who share the winning spirit and epitomize the long history of achievement that has made Tennessee football a winning tradition.